So, you want to create some unique brushes in your favorite painting application. Hey guys, welcome back to Test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again. And we're taking a look at some easy, kind of cool ways to make some uh, brushes. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up a new file here. We're going to start this up. I'm just going to do a uh, generic 2000 by 2000 just for a nice space to play around in. Um, and we can go ahead and, of course, the default brush. Just, I'm using my mouse today, obviously. Default brush, very simple, straightforward. Now, if you have, obviously, a tablet, it will have pressure sensitivity is with it. But for the most part, um, I wanted to just create some some brushes that didn't even need pressure sensitivity, which is why I'm not using the tablet today. I'm going ahead. We're going to use some nice brushes that you would probably use for something like a background or just something to give something texture. I just want to create some nice, unique, textury kind of things today. So if you go up to the top here and you click this little button, it'll open up the brush settings kind of customizer i guess you want to call it um i'm going to go ahead and change a couple of things around here i'm gonna make the brush bigger by default so about 175 i suppose really really thick like that maybe a little bit too thick actually yeah that's better uh maybe a little bit bigger mm, something like 100 yeah, let's leave it on 100 cool um all right um and i want to actually go ahead and change around some stuff so we'll turn down the dense no not all the way turn down the density some so we get this nice little kind of like i don't know chalk looking spray paint kind of thing i suppose it were um looks pretty nice i like that um we can do a couple different things so i'm gonna change it from i'm not gonna do that. i'm gonna change the mass type to gaussian so it's a little softer actually we might even go to soft yeah let's go to soft that's nice um so we have this nice kind of thing going on already um yeah i like that i like that quite a bit and that's add a little bit of scatter to this so we'll just check that on but that's way too much as you can see it's just all over the place um so i'm gonna actually turn down the uh the line here so it's more like little bit less as well that's ah, still too much i just want a little bit of random ah maybe a little bit less three percent it doesn't you know, we, can, we can do this as well by the way we just change it like that which is a pretty cool feature i think two looks good for me i just want it to be not a straight line you know what i mean looks good i like that i like that all right a little bit of rotation probably we'll add a little bit of rotation now i think to be honest with you probably the 180 is probably gonna be too much so we'll just change it down to like 23 so it's not like all the same exact thing. I like this quite a bit. Um, now, I really kind of want to... Da, 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 da. Let's actually... Should we add a pattern to this? Let's actually go ahead and change this to multiply alpha. And we'll go ahead and maybe turn the cutoff uh, up and, and, and pull this together a little bit. So we can add cutoff to brush. Give it a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And that, that nice texture that I'm looking for, which looks really good. Maybe we'll open this up a little bit more so it's a little less spacey. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go with something more rough and harsh or if I want to go with something more simple like the one we had before like this. I really enjoy that. That's a nice, like, canvas-looking texture you can use for a lot of things. We're going to leave it like that. We're going to leave it like that. I might hit invert just to make it a little different. Yeah, let's just hit invert just for the heck of it. Um, I like that. Looks good. Let's change the um, maybe the brightness a little bit so we get a little bit more of those particles in there. Just a little bit. Ah, I think that. Uh, that yep, that's what I'm looking for right there. Not, like if you zoom in on this, let's actually take a look at this real quick. If you zoom in on this, it looks like that's so cool. Like that is really cool. It's like some kind of Aztec language or like a you know scan code. You know, either way, it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and just undo that real quick. Um, what else do I want to do here real quick? We can actually probably add a little bit of, um, a little bit more softness to this because it's pretty, It's I mean, it's, it's pretty soft already, but I really want it to kind of, yeah, there we go. I don't, I don't want it to be like, let's actually wait, let's undo that real quick. I don't want it to be like super soft. Let's, let's add let's, that softness back. And then put it up there. Yeah, that's definitely I like that better. It's it's much like more roundish, which I enjoy. Um, let's see, what else can we actually do here? I don't want to do I don't want to go overboard because you know that's when things tend to start getting kind of weird. Um, let's change around the. Um, let's just make a really really weird transparency curve. Not going to do too much, but it adds just a little bit of variation if you're really working with pressure sensitivity, which is really nice. Just a click gives us a really nice. Um, just a couple dots as well. If you click and drag, it kind of fills into like this nice texture like that, which looks really, really cool, by the way. 
And by the way, it has a really nice variation to it as well. See, some of them are lighter, some of them are darker. I really enjoy this texture. I think we might be using this quite a lot on some pieces I want to be a little bit more, a little less clean, a little bit more dirty, which I really enjoy. I'm going to turn a little bit of opacity on, opacity, opacity. Some people were like, it's opacity. I'm like, okay, either one. It does. It, it's either one, guys, either one. It's fine. Um, I like that. Yeah, it looks good. I like that. All right, looks cool. Uh, maybe a little bit less flow, actually. Make a little bit less of a weird flow curve. If you want to get rid of these, just drag them to the edge and just like that, and just it'll, they'll they'll go away. Um, actually, maybe add a little bit more flow. Well, let's just put it all the way up to 100%. Let's just do that. Yeah, that'll work really good for uh, pressure sensitivity. As you can see, the tail up here at the top. You see that tail? See what it does when I pull it away? It kind of goes away like that, which is kind of weird. But I mean. Depends on what you're going for, but I mean, we can always just put that back up on 100. Which I actually do like that. 100 up top. There we go. Um, I think that's probably going to be it. I don't want to do anything with spacing. Uh, no spacing. Don't really want that. I want it to be as thick as is possible. Maybe we can actually pull it down. Uh, no, nah, we'll just undo that. I don't like that. But yeah, I, I really enjoy this. This is a nice, this is a very unique brush. You can use this to texture some some uh some work just overlay this put a, put this as a layer above your your painting and kind of just put it on overlay let's actually go ahead and just paint a nice little area of this and then we'll go ahead and just put a color underneath this and see if we can get some nice uh overlays which should look really really cool um with things and the, and the cool thing is, is if you go over the spot more than once it kind of gets a little darker there so we have that nice variation as you can see if i go over top of this it gets a little bit darker in the center there which is really really cool um Let's do that again. All right, cool. Now on the background layer, we'll go ahead and fill this in with, I don't know, nice red color. Let's do, um, wait, let's undo that and then we'll do, oh, I'm on the same brush. What's wrong with me? Um, we'll just fill it in. There we go. And then we'll overlay that and then we'll put it on like, I don't know, overlay. Overlay looks like very nice, nice little texture, canvas texture to that. Very simple, but it adds nice little flavor to it. And if you want, I guess you can also blur it, which would be pretty cool too. So we can go ahead and blur um, Gaussian blur, and then not that much, of course. Um, maybe something like two pixels probably look good. Two pixels, yeah. If you want it to be a little softer, you can, of course, do that, which is not as, as harsh and obviously by the pixel, like pixel art. Um, just blur a little bit and get a nice, nice texture. You can even, if you want to blur it some more, uh, we can do it. Same thing again, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. That's 20% uh, blurred right there, which looks really good still as well. And you can, of course, invert this color. Um, whereas there's no invert color. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Invert color. Now you have a nice whiter color, which is really good. It just adds a little bit of texture to your paintings, which uh, I can really see being pretty, pretty useful. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's I really enjoy this brush. This is a nice, nice brush. You can just use just on the whim just to get a nice bit of um, maybe a different kind of uh rough feel to things but yeah that's gonna be it for today's tutorial guys hope you enjoyed it very unique brush we have made here hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one but until then bye bye